How do you find the minimum product of two numbers whose difference is eight? Well, you can let one of the numbers be x, and then you just need another number that differs from x by eight. What number is bigger than x by eight? The answer is x plus eight. Those are two numbers that differ by eight. If x is one, this number is one plus eight, which is nine. Those two numbers differ by eight. Done. Well, at least that part. Now we're being asked for what the product of those two numbers are. Well, we have x times the thing that differs from it by eight. And this gives us the equation of a parabola, x squared plus eight x, when you multiply that x through that second bracket. Now, how are you gonna find the minimum? Well, this is clearly the equation of a parabola, and the minimum of a parabola is always at the vertex, maximum as well. How do you find the vertex of a parabola? There's like five different ways you can do it. You can complete the square, if you know what that is. There's a formula for negative b over 2a, if you've been taught that. The way that I'm going to do it, and the way I find most kids like doing it, is factoring. Factoring gives you the x-intercepts, and the vertex is right in between the two, directly in between the two. So, well, actually, I don't need to factor this. It was already factored for me, but I will anyways. What's the biggest thing that I can pull out of both of these terms? It's x. When I pull x out of x squared, I get x. When I pull x out of 8x, it's plus 8. Look, I'm just back where I started. My x-intercepts are 0 for this bare x out front, and also negative 8. That's how you get x-intercepts from each of those factors. Now, what that means is that this parabola has an x-intercept here at 0, and another one here at negative 8. It opens upward because the coefficient on my x squared is positive. See, there's no negative out front there, which means the parabola looks something like this. And yet we do indeed have a minimum. The question is, where does that minimum occur? Well, it occurs directly in between those two numbers, 0 and negative 8. If you don't know what number comes in between, don't worry, you can just take the two numbers, 0 and negative 8, add them together and divide by 2. You get negative 8 divided by 2, you get negative 4. So negative 4 is the value of x that these numbers represent in order for them to have the smallest product or minimum product possible. So once you've solved that x is negative 4, that means the numbers themselves are, well, negative 4 for x, and then whatever negative 4 plus 8 is. That's negative 4 and positive 4. So those two numbers differ by 8, yes, and we are asked for the minimum product. Well, that means that the minimum product itself is negative 4 times 4, which is negative 16. Cool. The smallest that product can get is negative 16. If you picked any other two numbers that differed by 8, they're going to multiply it to something bigger than negative 16. Oh, that wasn't too bad. The setup was probably the most intimidating part of that. But here we are. We solved it together. You're wonderful. Best of luck.